at this. It says, put on the whole armor of God. The armor of God is not like um, there is a shield somewhere that you go and pick and you say that shield is the shield of faith. So you carry it. What the scripture is saying is that your faith is a shield. Come on, amen. Your faith is a shield. Your faith is a shield. It says, take, wherefore take unto you the armor of God that ye may be able to, next verse please, 14. It says, stand therefore, having your loins get about with truth. Having your loins get about with truth. Now, what it means here is there is no belt that is called truth. But he's saying that truth is like a giddle. Come on, amen. The truth of God's word is a giddle, is a belt. It will hold you. It will cause you to walk uprightly. It will cause you to walk in your integrity. See, so hold on to truth. It's interesting that every single weapon that he described is the word. Come on, did you get that? Every single weapon that he described is actually the word. The word is truth. The word is truth. So he's talking about having your spirit inundated with truth. Where you know the truth and you cannot be deceived. So you will not be tossed to and fro. Why? Because you are giddled. You know, you have your, uh, let's have that scripture. It says, having your loins get about with truth and having on the breastplate plate of righteousness. So there's no shop you go to and say, I want a breastplate that is called righteousness. So you take it and you put it in your heart. No, you can take the Bible and say, okay, this is the righteousness of God. I put it in my hand. No, he is talking about understanding the doctrine of righteousness. The understanding of the doctrine or the word of righteousness will be to you like a breastplate. Come on, amen. You know, like the scripture says, it is a good thing that the heart be established. That the heart be established. That you're not moved to and fro. That you are consistent. Why? Because your heart, your, your, your heart is covered by the understanding and the word of righteousness. So it says there is a blade, breastplate of righteousness. Next verse. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now what he's saying, your feet shod, you're talking about your walk. Your walk. You, you are ever ready with the, the word of righteousness, or the word of the gospel. Ever ready to share the gospel. Paul said, you live in such a way that you are ever ready to respond to anybody at any time. Today, I mean, we organize and we come together and we say, we're going out for evangelism. In those days of Paul, everywhere, when you wake up, you are ever ready, ever ready, looking for occasions and opportunity to share the message. Your walk, your walk is ever shut up with a preparation to share the gospel. So you're in the bus, you're ready to preach. You're in the office, you're ready to preach. You are in the plane, you're ready to preach. No matter where you are, you walk. Conduct your life in such a way that you are ready, ready with the preparation. With the preparation, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Next verse. Then he says, above all, above all, the shield of faith. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Why is this the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? Because faith is like a shield. And you know, when you think of a shield, you think of that thing that's a defensive weapon. Something that you hold to hold off stuff. But remember that a shield is not just something that you hold to hold off stuff like this. A shield can be like a cocoon around you. You know, like you have in some countries and you have um, countries that have missile shields over them. Like in Israel, you have a shield. It's a magnetic field all over the place. So when a bomb is coming or a missile is coming, before it gets in, it will, I mean, as soon as it hits the shield, you can't see the shield, it's invisible. It's invisible, you can't see it. But it's there. As it's coming, it takes it out. As it's coming, it takes it out. Your faith is a shield. Your faith is a shield. You say to yourself, I want to strengthen my shield now. 
because the scripture says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So you go on the Pastor Chris Digital Library and you take messages and you just listen. You don't have any problems. So what am I doing? I'm strengthening my shield. I'm strengthening my shield. I'm fortifying my shield. So what, what, because listen, let's show you something. Look at the operation of faith. Get that scripture back up. It says, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery all not some all the fiery death that's of the wicked that means what quenches all the arrows the fiery arrows and and that that the devil throws at you he says it is your faith it is your faith it is it neutralizes it your faith neutralizes all the fiery darts of the enemy oh praise God the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal then it says they are mighty through God. They are mighty through God. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. That's that verse we just read now. Let's look at it from the NIV. NIV. It says, in addition to all these, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish. Woo! That you're not only someone don't mean you are fine. You're not owing anybody, but you can't help anybody. You can't help anybody. You can't do nothing. All your debts have been paid. But you are not leaving. Bible says they who receive the abundance of grace. The abundance of grace. The abundance. Some receive grace. They didn't, they've not come into the abundance of grace.